In this Pity V tutorial I will show you how to edit a simple sequence of video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. If you're new to Pity V you may find that the background is dark grey. Um, it won't make any difference to how you um, edit your video so you might find the render and the save buttons are over this side but that's probably the only thing you will find that's different so first thing you'll find is you'll get this welcome screen so unless you've actually saved the project there'll be nothing in this box if you save the project you just double click it so if it's your first time just left click on new Now there's a few ways you can bring um, clips into Pita V. You can either left click on the import button and navigate to the folder you've stored your videos in and then try and work out which video is the one you're going to use. Just hold down control and just select the videos by left clicking on them if you want more than one or as I prefer to do in a lot of instances is actually open up a folder with the videos in and again holding down control just left click on the videos I'm going to use reduce the folder in size and drag the videos into the media library now everything should be okay but just left click on the project settings and just check to see that your video format here or size rider is the same as your videos um, and also the frame rate should match now these are actually filmed at 50 frames per second but um, uh, a lot of these video editors lie but it, it won't make any difference for this so I'm going to leave this at 25 frames per second um, you can create a project by giving it a title and that here but I won't go through all that I'm just going to make this very quick and easy so once you're happy with that oh incidentally if you've got the white background you may have to highlight these by placing your cursor over them and just highlighting them to see what the sizes are but anyway once you're happy left click on OK now the other thing you may want to do is just check to see that you're actually getting proxy clips it makes life easier and you'll see a bar come in over here it'll say transcoding and you're gonna have to wait for this bar to finish I'll come back to it when it's finished Once your video is finished transcoding down here, if you select your first video by left clicking on it, just hold your left mouse button down, you can drag it into the timeline and then snap it up to the beginning. There's a couple of ways you can edit clips in uh, Pita V. You could, for instance, come along here to the point where, say, this chap disappears and you can either left click split at K at um, playhead for instance and then go back and delete the area that you want removed and this is only really any use to be honest with you if you want to chop the middle out what I would do is just place my pointer over the left hand edge say so you get this little arrow pointing to the left hold my left mouse button down and just drag this to this point here where I want it to start drag it up to the beginning and then move my timeline marker or you could play the video if you want to the point where I want to finish place my pointer to the right and make sure the arrow is pointing to the right hold my left mouse button down and drag this to the point where I want it to finish which should be about here and again I'll do the same here with this one 
drag it up so it snaps you'll know it snaps because you get this blue sort of like blue line again you can either play your video or you can drag this marker using your left mouse button to the point where you want to start hold your left mouse make sure that you're over the clip that you're going to edit and then place your pointer to the left hand edge say and then just drag this back snap this up drag to the next point where you're going to finish so we'll go there say and again drag this back I'll just really try cutting a clip really is for um, when you want to have a cut in the middle say also doing it this way if you want to change it you can slide your clip back out so you haven't sort of permanently cut it so this is a lot of more professional video editors you can actually do this um, in the view so you can have an in and out button and you can still change the um, length down here anyway let's do this clip here and this is the reason why sometimes proxies can be a lot better if you've got long clips this one is this one here is very long so I'll drag this along because I have to wait for the train to appear and I want it to sort of come oh, like, let's say start there and I'll hold my left mouse button down and again drag this there snap it up decide where I'm going to finish obviously you can choose to play your video if you want so I don't know we'll go wallop let's have it there drag this one along and I'll just do one more clip this one was quite long and again I want to take this all the way over We'll start there, drag this along, snap, and so I'm doing this quite quick. You can uh, spend a bit more time. And as I said, if you make a mistake, say if you wanted to extend the beginning, you can always drag your video out and drag this back or forward whereas if you cut it you're gonna have to press ctrl Z a couple of times and it's just not worth it if you're just doing simple video editing so just drag the ends from the left to right and that is basically it there's not much else I can show you on here apart from rendering now the one thing I would do with Pizza V is if you hold down control just select all your videos by left clicking on them and then right click and then delete I would get rid of the corresponding proxy files unless you're saving the project left click delete proxy files and also it keeps your uh, computer a bit cleaner and then go to render you may find the buttons up here left click on render and this gives you your options so I don't know this um, have a look where you first of all chipper where it says chipper up here this is this isn't my project folder so next to your project folder left click and decide where you're going to save it so for ease we'll slam it on the desktop we'll give it a name Okay, I don't know. Rail. That'll do. Call it what you want. Presets. You've got some presets up here. You can have a YouTube or a DVD preset. I wouldn't bother with that. Container format. Left click. And again, you've got not too many options. So select an option that you're going to use. So we'll go MP4. For um, check everything's okay. This doesn't matter automatically render from proxy files because you've already um, deleted your proxy files. 
and that's it left click on render and you're going to have to wait for your video to finish rendering I'll come back when it's finished rendering once your video is finished rendering hopefully you should have something that plays reasonably well Hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.